Hello everyone, uh, in this video I will try to model the shape that you saw in the thumbnail. So let's change the layout to model and add cylinder. And I will change the orientation to Z and I will increase the segments, something like that. And let's uh, change our shading to grout shading with lines. So if you want to play with cylinders, the first rule is to have higher segments, like like 32. Okay, now let's add our cube somewhere here. And to make that editable by pressing C or you can press here. I will right click and select plane cut or you can press key and L. Okay. Now I will select that polygon and extrude that by holding control. Okay, let's add pool and put those objects inside. Let's change the hierarchy. Okay, that's what I wanted, but I don't want those caps, so I will uncheck them. And let's make it harder and Level those edges and also don't forget to check the limits. Okay, let's let's level here too. Okay, let's select pool and Shape create single object. Let's make that edible by pressing C. And I will delete delete those points, the other half. So now we can clean the mesh. I will use the most I will mostly use slides. You can right click select or press and then O. And if you press control, it will merge the next point like that. If you, I think we need to add another cut here. Okay, we have an gun here, so I will also add another loop cut here and switch to no line cut and make a cut over here. Okay, now I'll select pet selection or you can press U and M. Let's select here that edge and extrude. After extrude, set the Y scale or size to zero, also the position. Let's select those points and merge them. Right click that. Right. 
I will set some subdivision to those area, areas. Right click and edge cut. I think two is good. Let's fix here. Okay. Now I will select bevel, but I will change mode to solid. We have some problems over here because we have more than more more than one point. Number one. Now let's do that again. Okay, we will fix that by by hand. Okay, let's test that by adding subdivision surface and it looks good. No distortion. Let's add symmetry. I think it's too sharp. So I will select those edges. Switch to slide. And offset mode proportional. Yeah. It looks perfect. Let's switch to standard mode the material. Yeah, that looks good. Mm, okay, that's it for that video. In the next video, I will try to close those caps so see you in the next video